Hi, Ian here with IBC Technologies. I'm going to walk you through the fan changeout on a VFC 15150, and this is similar to the VFC 45225 boiler. I'm going to turn the gas off, and I have switched the power to the boiler off. I'm then going to raise and lift away the front cover and set that aside. First, we're going to disconnect the signal wire and the power cable from the fan and then we're going to use a 532nd allen wrench and remove the four allen bolts that bolt the fan to the fan coupler and then we're going to unscrew the three Phillips head screws that go in through the base of the gas valve they have a little aluminum spacer underneath the head there's one in the front, one to the left, and one very close to the back of the body of the gas valve. The fan will then lift off from the unit. When you're doing a fan replacement on a VFC boiler, it's always a good idea to inspect the inside of this uh, air intake to make sure that there's no debris inside, that the swirl plate is clear and free of any dust and debris, and then it has no cracks or discoloration on the fins or the body of the swirl plate. When replacing the fan on the VFC series, make sure to transfer the fan adapter plate from the old fan to the new fan, making sure that the orientation of the fan adapter plate is the same as the old fan. The fan is then placed in position, and I loosely enter the four hex bolts and then once I have the four bolts entered there I will tighten up the three Phillips head bolts. Once they are nice and tight I will then tighten up the four bolts that connect the fan to the fan coupler. Reconnect the power and the signal cable to the fan. You'll turn the gas on and the power back on and uh, you're good to go. For more instructional videos, go to ibcboiler.com.